What's up you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a quick uh, replay video, although this is like 10 minutes long, so I'm pretty much just going to be commentating over it. But showing you guys the Star Grails uh, in action. Super OP. I just watched the first replay and it was insane. Uh, obviously the cards here are pretty much all in Japanese, so I can't really tell you what does what. For those of you who are more familiar with the Star Grails archetype, then you'll kind of know more what's going on. Um, obviously this has the... Um, extra monster zones for the link monsters and all that so I'll, it looks like it's like a japanese version of dev pro i don't really know um because to my knowledge as far as i know um the dev pro here in america has not been updated to have link summoning yet um and i was just on earlier today when i did a live stream and it wasn't updated so this must be like a japanese version or something like that i don't really know but i just saw it here on zodiac duels and figured that i would show this off to you guys because i don't really do replays on my channel all that often and so i figured that this would be a great way to kind of i guess start it off and if you guys want to see more replays you know, kind of like other YouTubers do, whether it's on Dueling Book or YG Pro, Dev Pro, whatever it is. Uh, let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button. Um, but, you know, kind of just jumping into the video from here. <laughs> um, this is insane. Like, he's just summoning monster after monster, link monster after link monster. And he's just going off here. He made that parasite thing. All these other link monsters I don't even recognize. Um... But yet, Link Monsters aren't even really being played in OCG right now, because they're all playing dinosaurs, and you don't even really need an extra deck for all that stuff. So, I don't know, it's it's going to be interesting. So, jeez, that's that's insane. And now he's going against uh, Noble Knights, the deck that never was, or used to be, and now it's just kind of dead, <laughs> unfortunately. <clears throat> so yeah, once again, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more replays like this, whether I, you know... It's decks of my own or replays that you guys send to me. Um, I've tried recording my own replays on DevPro and it always crashes. I'm assuming it's because I've recorded with screencast o -matic. I'm not really sure. So, but yeah. Now see, this is weird because some of the cards are in English, but then all this guy's cards are in Japanese. So maybe it's just because he's a Japanese player. I don't know. Um, but... <laughs> He's just going off. I don't know what any of these things do. I wish that they did. I know he's playing Rescue Rabbit because he plays Vanillas. I know that the Star Grails have Vanillas. They apparently have their own field spell. He's playing Scapegoat because of the Link Monsters. And it just makes it look like it's so easy to get out Link Monsters. They're all getting a boost from the field spell. This is insane, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even stop yawning. It's been a long day today. I'm doing this video at like almost 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> because I literally just saw this on Zodiac Duelist, and I really wanted to show you guys what in the world was going on with this deck, because I just watched the first replay, and I was already like, I need to show this to my, my fans, and there he goes making another Link Monster, then he sent his Link Monster from the extra Monster Zone to make a new one, because that's always fun. Man, he just blows away his board. Like, that is nuts. He's playing Painful Decision. He's going against Amazonas. Okay, this is going to be cute. Unexpected Die and Painful Decision. Rescue Rabbit, of course, for the Vanillas. He can use Unexpected Die to get that out. Gets out two more copies of that. Makes some sort of wolf-looking thing. It looks like a Super Saiyan version of Silver Fang, believe it or not. Or something from Nintendo. I don't freaking know, but this dude is going off. He's making more rank 4s, link 4s, he's making links all over the place. Link from the Legend of Zelda is going to have to be a link. Using Swing of Memories to get out those Manilas. Oh my god, he's making that Silver Fang thing. Dear god. And three link monsters on the board. And that's pretty much going to be Gigi Nori. For one thing, he's playing against Amazon, so he can't do anything anyway. He's going to set that Amazonas Tiger. Oh, actually, hold on. This card's in English. This is Stargale Warrior Ningrisio. If this card is linked, summon draw cards equal to the number of Stargale monsters linked to this card. You can only use this effect of Ningrisio once per turn. Once per turn, you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can express on one Stargale monster for hand. That's... Oh, sorry about that, you guys. I accidentally stopped the recording. But that effect of this link monster is actually really good because that way you're able to, you know, keep your monster presence on board. You're able to draw a bunch of cards if you have a bunch of monsters linked to it. Like, that is not bad at all. And it's a link, like, what, two? Link monster's minimum of two, and it's a link three. Dear God. Zion's going against Red Eyes. 
He's playing Warren because it's good. Of course, he's playing the Unexpected Die, Swing of Memories, Payful Decision, all that. Because the majority of the monsters in this deck seem to be vanilla. And then it just spams out a bunch of Star Grail Link monsters. Uh, for those of you who know about Star Grails, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments just what exactly is going on here. Here's another Star Grail effect monster. Let's see if we can back it up here a little bit. Uh, maybe? Here we go. This is, um, oh, well, it doesn't have the effect. Um, if this card is no more stress time, you can have one Star Grail monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard at this card to your hand. You can only use the effect of Fairy Rise once per turn. So it's basically a Stratos for the deck to add a Star Grail monster from your hand, then you send a monster to your hand or field, and then you can add itself back to your hand. So it's a self-replacing Stratos, which is actually really good. Also, sorry if the replays are going by a bit too quick. I can't control the speed. Hopefully, um... Screen cast matic itself is kind of slowing it down. Okay, what does this <coughs> Silver Fang thing do? Star Grail Dragon Imduck. Uh, link one normal monsters except tokens one. Okay, so it's a link of one. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Star Grail monster in addition to your normal summoner set. That's busted. You don't only gain this effect once per turn. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster linked to this card, you can destroy that opponent's monster. If this card is sent from the field of the grave, you can special on a Star Grail monster from your hand. Wow. Okay. So, our, oh, that's cool. So whenever it brings out a Link monster, it shows you the two zones in blue, which zones are Link. That's actually really nice. I hope uh, DevPro here in America does that, um, because that's going to be very helpful, especially for people that are new to the Link summoning mechanic and, you know, really got to teach themselves how to do it. I know, for me, like I told you guys in my live stream that I did earlier today, I've been taking a break from the game competitively and just, you know, relaxing and taking it easy and all that. Just... You know, until we get Link Summoning, because to me this format is just degenerate enough as it is, and the only thing I really have to play is Chamberlain, so I don't feel like really pissing people off. I just feel like doing live streams and making videos for you guys. But, yeah, this deck definitely seems like something I could sink my teeth into, especially with how spammy it is. Um, but the effects are so insane, you guys. Like, uh, he's doing the scapegoat. Oh my god, that's that's adorable. Okay. Wow. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to cut, just about cut this here. I that, I was sorry I was so quiet throughout these replays, you guys. I really did not have anything planned to upload today. And then I saw this, like, literally two minutes ago, and I was like, alright, i got to upload this. And just kind of see what all the hubbub is. I don't know what that dragon-looking thing is. And the replay ends. <laughs> and he's going against Noble Knights again, so I'm not going to show that replay. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, rating, or a favorite. Um, he's playing that rat thing right there, if you see my mouse where it's moving. That's, that's actually really adorable, because that's actually kind of busted in this deck, it seems. But if you guys enjoyed these replays, please be sure to hit a like or a favorite. And also, please be sure to hit that notification bell so that you guys can be able to be notified whenever I'm uploading videos and all of that good jazz. YouTube has been crazy lately with all the ad revenue stuff going on. And you, you guys want to make sure that you're being up to date with all my uploads. So, again, if you guys did enjoy the replay, please be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more replays. I can definitely make that happen. Um, and just let me know of anything else you want to see on the channel. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you have not already.